What's up guys, welcome back to another unboxing and review video. Today I'm going to be unboxing One Third Scale The Dark Knight Batman Duo version by JND Studio. This is going to be my third review of them. So the first one went really bad, the second one was really good, so I'm eager to see how this one turns out. Let's get it. Watch me chew, watch me ooh, I'm so fly, I'm so smooth, mic check, I got the moves, pull up in something that ain't got a roof, I'm so high, I'm on the moon, whoa, they know I be sheafing, and when I'm coming down the block, they know I be beating, Southie got that drip, drip, ayy, let's take a trip, trip, ayy, what are my neck, water, what are my wrist, wrist, woo, I'm on the wish list, I'm so ahead of my time, special delivery on me, call me Amazon, what is you doing? Finna go hard, hard, hard. Ice on my neck, ice on my wrist. That for the squad, squad, squad. No, they gon' hate. Do what I tell them. Get on your jaw, jaw, jaw. Work on smooth. I got the moves. I swear to God, God, God. Hey, I just dropped 200 on a new way. New, pull up with that in my boo thing. Pull up, got the party bouncing like the blue flame. Shout it back. Ain't not my style when I do it. Whack me to it. Wait, do it. Hold up, do it. Wait. So fresh and so clean, ho. Do this for my team, ho. Hit them with a dance that they ain't never seen before. Yeah, we like to smoke good. I just got that pack in. But if I step outside, they play this song, I'm coming back in. True, ayy. Representing for my hood, ayy. Never get misunderstood, ayy. Run it up like I should, ayy. Run it up to the clock stop. Money moves like the pop lock. She love the breeze in the drop top. We got a jumping on me like hopscotch. Whoa. Hold up, little buddy. What is you doing? Finna go hard, hard, hard. Ice on my neck, ice on my wrist. That for the squad, squad, squad. No, they gon' hate. Do what I tell them. Get on your jaw, jaw, jaw. Work on smooth. I got the moves. I swear to God, God, God. Hey. I just dropped 200 on a new way. No, no. Pull up with that burp burp and my boo thing. Pull up, pull up. Got the party bouncing like the blue flame. Bounce. Shout it, bounce. Can't knock my style when I do it. Watch me do it. Wait, do it. Hold up, do it. Wait.
right, so we got done unboxing and assembling him, and this is what it came with. Also, I really do love that plaque. This is number 111 out of 400. I believe it's for the Duo. So I really like it. Looks very elegant. And it doesn't come with any switch out. So whatever you see here is what you get. Now let's go check out the details. Okay, let's start with the sub base. It's just a plain glossy sub base. And you see here the Dark Knight from the movie. Just a plain base all the way around. And then on top, it's just Bruce Wayne and Batman standing on the concrete. You can see a lot of details here as well. The Batman itself, it's just a regular suit from the movie. You see the boot right here that he's wearing with a lot of patterns. And the armor itself, the shin guard, and then you have the gold utility belt. That's pretty good. And the gauntlet, the bat emblem right here, and you can actually these are maybe acrylic that you can see inside. Looks really good. And then you have the shoulder pads and the head, which is silicone as well right here and glass eyes. All right, moving on to Bruce Wayne. Here yeah, the shoe is all sculpted, but the lace, this is mixed material. And then up here you can actually see the socks that you can move it up or down, whatever. But you're gonna be covering them anyway, same on this side. The tailor itself looks really good, feels good, and he just have both hand in the pockets with the suit going in behind, looking really sharp, very nice material, you see a lot of patterns, yeah, very nice, even the necktie here as well, and then the cloth underneath, very cool. And also, I forgot, here is the watch he is wearing as well. To the face, these are all silicone, glass eyes, and rooted hair. Very realistic looking. Yep, so that's Bruce Wayne. Okay, now let's check out the dimension. It's basically just the base and the height. All right, let's start with the depth of the base. It's around 12 inches or 31 centimeter. The length is about 24 inches or 61 centimeters. The height all the way to the top of the cow is about 27 and a half inches or about 70 centimeters. All right. Oh 
All right, now I'm gonna give my thought on them, but there are some good thing and there's some bad thing as well. And I am going to be comparing the Batman with the Queen Studios one third scale as well. So let's get it. I think overall the base, it really works having both of them on the same base, which is gonna save you some space and it looks really good at the same time. Also, the base is pretty simple, but it looks good. And the concrete, I think they did a damn good job, actually, all the way around. Like, you can see a lot of details in it. I like it. The details on Bruce Wayne, the shoes, looks really good. The tailor that he has on, exceptional. Very nice, they always do a good job on mixed material anyways. So I really like that. All right, it's a little complex to put the arm into the hand here, but I think the engineering of it is pretty good where you can actually pull the whole arm out backward or whatever here. So it makes it a bit easier to put this in. So I do like the engineering of this, very cool. Same on this side, if you just want to show his watch, just pull his uh, trouser up a bit. That's cool. I think it looks really good. And as far as Bruce Wayne itself, I think it looks just like him, man. I mean, I give it a very good 90, a little bit over 90%. And the feel of it, yeah, it's just the same silicone as Joker or Harley Quinn where it's very soft and the hair here, they're already set. So you even know it's rooted, you don't have to mess with it. So I like that a lot. The one thing though, he does look a little bit older than he should be maybe. It looks like he is uh, in his 30, 35 or so, like mid thirties. That doesn't bother me though, but I really do like a lot of details inside the silicone here where you can see a lot of spots and uh, like the defect of the skin that's very cool and the glass eyes is very nice as well it just make it look more alive i mean and his lips is very nice color and he doesn't actually have the lips like all the way shut you can see a little gap in between here very cool to the batman the way they sculpted the armor the suit, I think it looks really good. They did a good job here. The gold color looks very well done. It's not too shiny. And this is more of a, I should compare it to Prime One Studio. Batman here, it's kind of like that with the same details and materials. Uh, the gauntlet here is pretty good, except it's a bit bland, but the magnet on the right hand here is not really that great. You can see it here, kind of wiggle around while this one is already intact. As far as the cape, I'm not a big fan of this cape. Like I said, man, I'm not sure what it is, whether it's nylon or whatever, but the material inside, the velvet looks really good and feel really good as well. But the cape itself is pretty long. I mean, I think it's a bit too long for the character. So. You know, it's really hard to post it like how to make it look good because it's just everywhere, man. You know what I mean? But I do like the way that they make it clip the cape into the suit very easily. I like that a lot. Now, as far as the head goes, I mean, having glass eyes and silicone make it look more realistic as well. I do like that. That's really cool of them. All right, so I got the Queen Studio one third scale Batman here to compare with the JND. Now the JND is on pedestal, so that's why it looks a little bit taller, but I measure them and this one is just a tiny bit taller than the Queen Studios. All right, the base, I think they both did a pretty good job and the Queen Studio one has a better design overall. It looks really cool. Wow, this is just a museum really elegant looking, so it can go either way. And as far as the cape goes, I'm not sure what type of material uh, Queen Studio use, but I do like it because it's kind of draped off and you can actually, you know, 
get it out of the way very easily, it's just draping. While this one is very hard to, um, I don't know, to pause or whatever, it's not wide. That's why I think I kind of go with the Queen Studio one. I like this one better. As far as the scope of Batman goes, I think JND won this. Uh, you can just tell the difference between the color. This one is more light matted, while this one you can actually see the black clearly. And also you can see the detail inside the chest and in the armor as well. Even right here on the shin guard. While Queen Studio doesn't have any. There aren't any details inside here at all. Like you can see some, but hardly any. You can just tell the difference between the color. This one just pops. And you can tell from the color of the belt that JND is much darker, while Queen Studio is just way too bright. Ah. <laughs> okay, as far as the head scope, I think JND won this as well. You can see a lot more details in the cow and having glass eyes really uh, shine, you know. Queen Studio isn't bad at all for this. I mean, even it's sculpted, it kind of looked almost like it is silicone. All right, and this is the sculpted version for the Queen Studio Bruce Wayne. And you can just tell the difference. There's no match. I think JND won this by a landslide. You can just tell like the skin is a bit too smooth and a little bit too yellowish, I guess. They did a pretty good job on the eyes and the hair, the way they sculpted it though. Very cool, but still, this one just looked more realistic. All right, that's the unboxing and review of the JND one third scale, the Dark Knight Batman. Personally, I think they did a very good job representing the character itself, but I paid about $4,000 all in for this do set, which I think is way too much money. If you already own like either Prime One Studio or Queen Studio Batman, I think you just have to purchase the Bruce Wayne on its own. I think that's enough. But you guys let me know what you think down in the comment. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one, man. Peace.